Ladies and gentlemen, here's a brief journey of the life of Dr. Ravindra Vyasdev Zuvekar. Mr. Vyasdev Zuvekar and his wife had started their married life in the heart of Thane city on 30th March 1939. They were blessed with a baby boy, Ravindra. His schooling was done in Pintorila High School in Dadar. That's a branch of King George High School. Young Ravindra passed his SSE in 1956, securing first rank. Later, in 1958, he did his inter-science from Ruparil College. His journey in the medical field started after joining TN Medical College. In 1963, he passed his MBBS in surgery with flying colors. Dr. Ravindra got registration under Padma Bhushan, Dr. L. H. Hiranandani to embark his start in the field of ENT. He started learning under the skillful yet very strict and disciplinarian boss, Dr. L. H. Hiranandani. Such was his devotion towards his teacher, Dr. L. H. Hiranandani that he was chosen by him to interview him in the archives of All India Radio. In 1967, Dr. Ravindra V. Zvekar passed his MS and started working as a senior registrar in Nair Hospital for over a year. Later, he joined LTM College and Sion Hospital as an assistant professor in 1971 along with Dr. K.C. Gadre and Dr. K.B. Bhargava. As he progressed in his career, his personal front was ready to progress as well. On 3rd May 1968, Dr. Ravindra Zvekar got married to a renowned classical singer, Nilakshi Zoshi. Now, Mrs. Nilakshi Zvekar. Dr. Ravindra Zvekar was very passionate about music and his passion and love for music was now fulfilled by his very talented wife. Very few people are aware that he played an instrument named Dilruba that's very similar to the violin. Soon, he became an associate professor, then the head of department in the same institute. He was also an examiner and paper setter for MBBS, MS and DNB. He was an active faculty member in the Temporal Bone Dissection Workshop being conducted in Sion Hospital for 17 years. Dr. R. V. Zvekar was the first doctor from Mumbai to do a research on noise pollution and presented it at the Delhi Conference. He also read the paper in the first International Pediatric Conference in Bath near London on autogenic intracranial complications in the Asian subcontinent in 1986. He visited the Temple University of Chevalier Jackson in Philadelphia and Sinai Hospital in Connecticut in USA for further training. Dr. R. V. Zvekar is also known for presenting an original technique for double breasting technique in tympanoplasty in various national and international conferences. He retired from LTM College in the year 2000. After 30 years of Mauritius service, in 2001, he joined K.J. Sumaya Medical College as the head of department of ENT till 2005. Here are a few tributes paid to him by his students and colleagues. was a simple human being, very humble human being and fitness freak. Most, of, most important, he was also interested in classical music and he supported his wife's career as a classical musician. He had worked on a noise pollution and second thing, in early 70s, he was a small time pioneer in pediatric otolaryngology as well, from my point of view. He continued the trend of Dr. Gadre and Bargao of carrying on with the temporal bone dissection workshop in Sion Hospital and this is something which has helped a lot of ENT surgeons. I congratulate him and his family for the same achievement. A very nice human being, a very affable person, but a very strict and artistic surgeon. As far as profession is concerned, he was very, very strict. But when it came to an evening program, he would regale us, everybody, with an impromptu jokes. 
and make it so friendly that we just couldn't believe that the same person talking to us which was in the morning on the occasion of the 47th mentcon i congratulate dr zuwaker on getting the lifetime achievement award dr zuwaker is of a cheerful disposition he is known for the double breasting technique in tympanoplasty and has always been very passionate about fitness i sincerely wish him good health and happiness in the years to come i have enjoyed working under him as his lecturer he is a great teacher as well as a great human being and excellent surgeon i learned many things from him as far as surgical skills are concerned and i feel very proud today on his achievement my first meeting with sir was in the year 1997 when we were second year residents in the department of ENT he would treat us more like friends rather than students he made sure we remain friends for life and i wish him all the best for his achieving the lifetime achievement award he was a personal physician and ENT to many well known personalities dr rubinder and mrs nilakshi zavegar were blessed with an elder daughter manjuri and a son meenesh Their daughter, now Dr. Manjuri Zvegar, is a radiologist, and their son, Dr. Meenesh Zvegar, is a promising ENT surgeon, continuing his tradition, currently attached to Bombay Hospital. Mrs. Nilakshi Zvegar is an A-grade artist in the Jaipur Gharana of vocal classical music. Incidentally, she too was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award for her contribution to music. On 11th December 2015, Dr. R. V. Zvekar, a wonderful father, an ENT surgeon par excellence, an excellent teacher, a mentor, and a beautiful human being, is being awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award in his 75th year. We all would love to congratulate him for his extraordinary journey so far, ladies and gentlemen. Metcon 2015 presents the Lifetime Achievement Award in ENT to Dr. Ravindra Vyasdev Zuvekar.